Hello friends, welcome to my channel. This is Charan. In this video, I will show you how to add the multiple HTML pages and how to configure the URL path routing in Python using Django Web Framework. If you are a first time visitor to my channel, please subscribe to get the latest updates. Before continuing this video tutorial, I sincerely recommend please watch my previous video tutorials. In the tutorials, I have shown how to install the Django Web Framework on Windows operating system and how to create a new web project in Django. Now let's continue the today's tutorial. I'm using Visual Studio Code to write the Python code. I notice in the Explorer panel, I have added my Python project, which is a Python Django. Let's expand that one. In this folder, I have created my project. Let me expand that one. And if you notice in my project, there are some default Python files and one db.sql database. And these are the files which is automatically installed when I create a project in Django. Now first, I want to add the multiple HTML pages. So, let's create a new template folder to add our HTML pages. I'm adding the template folder to the root folder. In the my project, or I click the my project, click new folder, and the folder name is template. So once I add the template folder, now right click the template folder, click new file. And the files I'm adding the HTML page name is page1.html. And here we got the HTML page 1. Let's add some HTML5 code. Doc type. I'm closing the HTML tag. Inside the HTML, I'm adding the header section. In this header section, I'm adding the title tag. The title is uh, this is page 1. Now after the header tag, I'm adding the body section. This is dy. In the body section, I'm adding the header tag, which contains this is web page one. Now let's add the another HTML page. Again, right click the template, click new file, give the page name is the page name is page2.html. And here we got the page2.html. What I'm doing instead of writing the same code and copying this part and pasting in this page2.html. So I'm changing the title, which is the, this is page 2, and the content I'm adding in the H1 is, this is web page 2. Now let's add the third web page, I click the template folder again, click new file, and page3.html. So again I'm pasting the doc type, this is page 3 and the h1 tag and adding the web page 3. Now we got three web pages I have created in this template folder. Now the next step is let's save this file, save all. Now the next step I'm adding a new python file to call these html pages. So in the my project Right click the my project, click new file, I'm adding the index.py, which is a python file. Now in this python file, first I'm importing from django dot 
HTTP import HTTP response and the next I'm importing from Django dot shortcuts import render now after importing these two packages let's declare three functions to call the three HTML pages declare the def definition web page one which is a function name a request I'm requesting um, a request colon then I am returning this function render method this render method I am adding and this render method takes the parameters the first one is a request so I am adding the request comma and the second parameter is a template name so first our template name is between single quotes page one this one page one dot html page one dot html let's copy this one let's create the second function let's give the function name which is web page two and I want to render page two dot html this page Let's declare the another method. The method name is web page three, and the template name is page three dot html. That's it. Once we added our templates in this index dot python page, let's save this file again. Save all. Up to now, we have just added the three html pages in the templates folder. And we have created one Python file to render our HTML pages in this Python page. Now the third step is in the my project. Notice there is a urls.py. Let's open that one. So let's add our own path. From dot import. I'm importing the index page Python page index from this index page I'm calling these methods web page 1 web page 2 and web page 3 I don't require this default path let's create a new path single quotes comma index dot the python page name dot notice here we got the method names web page one comma let's copy this one paste here and paste here this is web page 2 and this is web page 3 this one is a page 2 and this one is page 3 so after adding the paths in the URL patterns now the next important step is settings.py open that one and notice in the settings.py there is a template section which contains the directories dirs which contains some empty brackets so in that we need to add os.path dot join method now in this join method I'm adding the base directory the base underscore directory comma and the second one is a string path with a single quotes I'm adding 
the template. Let's add the templates. Give this name as a template. Rename templates. Let's save this file. Save. Save this file. Save all. Now the open page one dot HTML page. Here in the H1 section, I'm adding um, href is equals to I'm adding page two dot HTML go to page two. Let's copy this one. Paste here, and this one is page three. Go to page three, and in the page three, I'm adding page one. Go to page one, which is our home page, default page, which we have added in the URLs. See the web page one does not contain any value here which means it's a default home page now let's check the output open view let's open the command debug console switch to the terminal And notice here I got my base path which I have created my project the folder name Python Django in the D drive so in the Python Django we have that subfolder called my project so CD my project my is capital, M is capital my project after adding the folder name now let's run our server python server python manage.py let's add that one manage.py run server enter and notice here i got a message identified no issues and this is our web server name click the control and Click the mouse and see here we got the output oops we forgot to save the file save all so now we will get this go to page href link here I'm reloading the browser see here we got this is web page one which is our home page go to page two the href link and I click go to page two so here we got a message page not found the reason here in our URLs I have added page two So now we got a web page too. This is so to fix this, we need to add here comma. The third parameter is a name. Name is equals to between single quotes. I am adding web page one, and let's add the name property for the second web page name so name comma name is equals to between single quotes i'm adding web page 2 and add the name attribute for the web page 3 also between single quotes i'm adding web page now let's configure 
the page one the href when i click this go to page two i want to redirect to the page two dot html page so instead of writing the html page name i am adding the curly braces the expression percentage now between this percentage i am adding url and single quotes now between the single quotes i am adding this line web page 2 I am adding the name attribute web page 2 so let's copy this one switch to the page2.html delete this one this is web page 3 remember we have to add this name attribute which is web page 3 here I have added because I want to go to web page 3 and in the page 3 this is web page 1 now let's save these files save all now let's go to page 2 so here we redirect to the web page 2 notice here the page 2 now let's click the go to page 3 so here we redirect to the web page 3 now let's go to page 1 which is redirect to the home page go to page 2 this is web page 2 go to page 3 this is web page 3 now go to page 1 this is web page 1 that's it